In this movie, we'll join our independent line segments to create filled path outlines. So notice if I go ahead and zoom in right here, for example, that I've got a little clip in the corner of my right-hand smokestack. And that's because these two lines right here represent what are known as independent paths inside of Illustrator. So in other words, this line segment right here does not continue into this one. What we need to do in order to continue them and end up with a nice sharp corner is join the paths. So I'm gonna press Control Zero or Command Zero on the Mac in order to center my zoom. And then I'll press the V key to switch to my black arrow tool. And I'll partially marquee all three of the line segments that are associated with the right-hand smokestack. Now I'll go up to the object menu, choose path and choose join, or you have this keyboard shortcut of control J or command J on the Mac, which I will be using to join the other paths. All right, so go ahead and choose the command and notice now you end up with a nice sharp corner and that's because these three line segments have now been fused into a single continuous path outline. And to confirm that's the case, I'll press the A key to switch to my wide arrow tool and I'll select this anchor point by clicking on it and then I'll drag it and notice that that stretches both of these neighboring segments. And that's because what was formerly two anchor points overlapping each other has been joined into one. All right, I'll go ahead and press Control Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo that move. And I'll press the V key to switch back to the black arrow tool and I'll click on that path to select the whole thing. Now what I wanna do is close the path so that I have one continuous path outline that returns back on itself. So in other words, what I need to do is connect these two so-called endpoints so that we have one more segment down below. And you do that in the same way we join the line segments by going up to the object menu, choosing path, and then choosing join. Or again, you can press control J or command J on the Mac, and that will go ahead and join those endpoints with a straight segment. Now we want to reverse the fill and the stroke. So in other words, we want to fill this path outline with black and give it no stroke. Just get rid of the black outline that surrounds that rectangle. And you can do that by going down to the bottom of the toolbox, which I can't see. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this double arrow icon to switch back to the double column toolbox. And I'm gonna move this guy, this floating toolbar out of the way. And then notice down here, we can see the fill, which is set to none. And we can see the stroke, which is black. In order to swap those two attributes, you click on this little double arrow, which represents the swap icon. And it has a keyboard shortcut of Shift X. And I want you to remember that one as well. So notice as soon as I click on it, I swap the stroke and fill, and I end up with this black smokestack. All right, now let's repeat those operations, but using keyboard shortcuts for the other smokestack and the factory. And so I'll go ahead and partially marquee the three line segments associated with this smokestack, and I'll press Control J or Command J on the Mac in order to fuse those three independent line segments into one continuous path outline. And then I'll close that path outline by pressing Control J or Command J again. And now I'll swap the fill and stroke by pressing Shift X. So in other words, it's Control J twice, that's Command J twice on the Mac, followed by Shift X and that's all there is to it. All right, now I wanna partially marquee these factory objects, and so notice that I am making sure to fly underneath the smokestack. I'll show you that again, because if I were to come up into the smokestack, even partially, like so, including this guy over here on the right, then I would select all the objects, which is not what I'm interested in doing. So instead, I'll go ahead and start dragging down here, partially marquee all the independent line segments, do not go up into this left-hand smokestack, or over into the right-hand one. Just stay inside the factory lines like so. And then press Control J or Command J on the Mac. And I really want you to see this. I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm going to press Control Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo. Notice how we have no sharp corner here or down here either. But if I press Control J or Command J on the Mac, then we get these nice sharp corners. All right, now I'll go ahead and zoom out here and I'll close this path by pressing Control J or Command J on the Mac once again. And then I'll go ahead and swap the fill and stroke by pressing Shift X like so. And then I'll go ahead and click off the path outlines to deselect them. And if you wanna see how things look without the guidelines, 
then the easiest thing to do is to go over here to the layers panel and click on the eye in front of the guides layer in order to hide it. So clicking on that eye makes it disappear and hides the layer as well. And now we have an unfettered view of our finished path outlines. And that's how you fuse independent line segments into continuous path outlines using the join command here inside Illustrator.